Hi there, I'm Debola Jai, popularly known as The Strategist. Welcome to my channel, The Business Toolkit for SMEs. Please endeavor to like, share, and subscribe. I'm sure someone in your community needs this content. Thank you. In today's class, I'm going to be talking about strategies to penetrate your market. If you're a business owner looking to scale, looking to introduce a new product line, or set up a new business altogether in a market, then this video will help you. So join me in this class as we talk about strategies for penetrating your market. In talking about strategies to penetrate your market, there are four popular strategies. Let's begin with market penetration. Market penetration is a name given to a growth strategy where the business focuses on selling existing products, please note this, into existing markets. Existing products into existing markets. Market penetration seeks to achieve four main objectives. One, to maintain or increase the market share of your current products. This can be achieved by a combination of competitive pricing strategies, advertising, sales and promotions and perhaps even more resources dedicated to personal selling another objective here for market penetration is to secure dominance of growth market another objective also is to restructure a mature market by driving out competitors this will require a much more aggressive promotional campaign approach supported by pricing strategy the essence of this objective is to make the market unattractive for competitors or you could increase usage by existing customers these are four objectives for example of this is introducing a loyalty scheme right so a market penetration marketing strategy is very much about business as usual the business focuses on markets and products it knows well market penetration also needs you to have good information on competitors and customer needs so please note this this strategy works best in industries where economy of scales apply when the firm's average cost of producing and distributing products decreases as the size of its operation increases. So in essence, to execute a market penetration strategy, you're going to have to be able to understand your products and see where you are in comparison with your competition. Also, you must understand that to deploy a market penetration strategy, your company must have a dependable competitive position because there might be likely retaliation from competitors. Second strategy we're going to look at after market penetration is product development, which is a name given to a growth strategy where a business aims to introduce new products into existing markets. Now, this strategy may require development of new competencies and requires the business to develop modified products which can appeal to existing markets. The strategy of product development is particularly suitable for a business where the product needs to be differentiated in order to remain competitive. A successful part of the development strategy places the market emphasis on research and development and innovation. Details insights into customer needs and how they change. Being first to market, the organization needs to develop modified products that appeal to existing customers in order to encourage them to spend more on these products. This strategy is likely to develop new organizational competencies and requires improved sales coordination. Uncompetitive or immature products in the portfolio create risk that can be counterbalanced by a strong customer focus and innovation process. So an example of this might be the launch of the new versions of the iPhone or the Coke Zero, right? So all of this just to help you understand what we mean by product development. The third strategy in penetrating your market is market development, which is a name given to the growth strategy where the business seeks to sell its existing products into new markets. There are many possible ways of approaching this strategy, including new geographical markets, that is, supporting the products to a new country or new product dimensions or packaging. So for example, having a large bottle of Coke, which we call the family Coke, you can also look at new distribution channels moving from selling via retail to selling using e-commerce and mail order or different pricing strategies to attract different customers or create new market segments. Market development is a riskier strategy than market penetration because you are targeting new markets. An example might be when the iPhone began to sell in China later than in other Western markets or when it began to be sold online or Coke when it offered a new large family form of its products like I earlier mentioned. The last strategy is diversification, which is a name given to the growth strategy where a business markets new products in new markets. This is an inherently riskier strategy because the business is moving into markets 
in which it has absolutely little or no experience. For a business to adopt a diversification strategy, it therefore must have a clear idea about what it expects to gain from the strategy and an honest assessment of the risk. So, however, for the right risk reward balance, a marketing strategy of diversification can be highly, highly rewarding. An example might be the iWatch or the iPad. So the selection of your growth strategy depends on your firm's level of risk, its current set of products and the markets and the organizational preference for either products or markets. Deciding which strategy will work for you per time will require thorough strategic and business analysis. So any of these four strategies are designed to help you penetrate your market, depending on where you are in your business life cycle. Thank you for being a part of today's business toolkit for SMEs. As usual, I'm Debo Ajay, popularly known as The Strategist. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, with the business toolkit for SMEs. See you. Thank you.